Welcome to the Great Lakes Valley Conference Women's Basketball Tournament in St. Charles, Missouri. Dury, the top seed, they get Quincy in the first round. Prior to the tip, Dury collecting postseason awards. Reese Schaaf named Freshman of the Year and third team. Elena Finley, Kaylee Demitzholt, and Terry on Moore. First team Moore also named Defensive Player of the Year. And finally, Amy Egan crowned GLVC Coach of the Year. Awards collected, highlights engage. Quincy shoots 69% in the opening quarter. Dury still on top three, though. Early in the second, Terry on Moore about to take over. First cans the wing jumper. Moore may have won Defensive Player of the Year. She's pretty good on this side of the ball, too. Shaw finds her for the triple here. Moore's up to 13 points midway through quarter two. Then showing off the vision, she finds Henderson on the cut. Henderson wins off for 20 and 5 tonight. Perhaps her best game in a Drury uniform and boy did they need it. A couple trips later Moore nearly loses it on the pass. Not a problem. Gets it right back. Assesses the situation and splash. That's a triple. Drury finally getting a little separation up 8 with just under 2 minutes to halftime. Terry on Moore with 18 points in the first half and after Quincy shoots 69% in the first quarter, the Lady Panthers one up them and shoot 71% in the second. DU's lead at halftime is 9-49-4 Third quarter, much different story. Quincy opens the quarter on an 11-3 run to tie the game. That's Sarah Nelson laying it in here for the lead, and suddenly Drury in danger. Demitz Holt back on the other end with the answer to the rack. Count it and the foul. Her free throw ties things at 57, but the Hawks on top after three, 64-61, and we've got a ball game. The Hawks lead lasts briefly. More in the corner, and this is as open as open gets. It goes. Drury back up, 66. 64. Hawks tie it again. Clevenger matriculating in the paint and she's been in the weight room. It's good. Her teammates fired up. Lady Panthers back up a deuce. Jump ahead. Just over five minutes left. Demitz Holt pushing it off the turnover. Finds Clevenger. She's 35% from deep coming in and that's a big shot when Drury really needed it. 75-70. DU on top but Quincy just won't go away. Samira Williams with position and it rolls in. She hits the free throw and the Hawks retake the lead. 78-77, Demitz Holt not feeling the early exit. Drives, misses, but gets her own rebound and is fouled. She heads to the line, makes the first, misses the second, but Finley is there, and she gets the offensive rebound, but gets tied up. Quincy Ball, 5.6 seconds left. They go to Modest Martin. She gets a good look as Moore falls down, but it's short, and Drury escapes narrowly. A big exhale from Amy Egan and the Lady Panthers. Drury absorbs Quincy. Quincy's best shot and advances to the semifinals with a 79-78 win in a thriller. It's March Madness, you know. We know we're going to get everyone's best game, so just not overlooking anybody and just playing how we play. I thought Quincy played really well. I think they deserve a lot of credit. Um, they played really hard. They competed. So I think a lot of credit goes to them. I didn't think we we executed as well. Uh, I didn't think we were as dialed in as we needed to be. Um, understanding that obviously when you get to this time of year, you know, it's March Madness and anything can happen at any point. So uh, I was a little bit disappointed in that, but uh, I, was, I was happy that we found a way, you know, and sometimes in March, that's what it's about is finding ways.